Now, remember, sweetheart, don't lose that oxygen can. Yes, I know, Mom. And I'm setting your oxygen amount on private. But why? Because other kids will probably get jealous. Now, take a sip before you go. Hey, where did you get that special canister? Oh, um, my mom got it for me. How nice. But, girly, why is your oxygen on private? Um, can you show me how much you have? I'm not allowed to. What? Why not? I have to go. Hey! <laughs> Angela, catch. Give it back. Hmm, no, I don't think we will. Guys, please, I need that. Then make your oxygen public right now. Okay. Why do you have so much? It's because I have asthma. Yeah, right. You do not need all this oxygen. No! Here, have fun with your asthma. <laughs> <laughs> no, this can't be happening. Would you like to take Angela's oxygen? She only has 15 sips of oxygen? No wonder she was jealous of me. Oh no. <laughs> Honey? We have a problem. No, no. Honey, wake up, please. Take my oxygen. Hang in there. I'm gonna use a different method. Please wake up. You feeling better? Yeah, but... Hey, wait. What happened to all of your oxygen? I transferred it to you, honey. You need it more than me. I'll... <laughs> I'll be okay. No. None of this would have happened if it weren't for Angela. Angela, stop it! Aw, oh, you gonna cry? Hey, Angela. Whoa, thanks for knocking her out. Yeah, no problem. Now I gotta give you something. Here. That canister has infinite oxygen. So you'll never run out of air, cause I really appreciate you helping me out. Thank you so much. Hey Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <sighs> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. I would never. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? And you're not supposed to take books from the library. Get the hell out of here. Do you believe her? No, not for a second. Maybe your granny can help us get the book back. I don't have a grandma. No, Red. Not you two. Come with me. We're fixing this right now. You two are back. Yes, we brought you some porridge to apologize to you. I made sure the bears made it just right. Mm. Are those ink stains on your fingers? All right, you caught me, but there's nothing you can do. Soon, darlings, only the villain characters will remain. <laughs> you underestimated the girls who fought wild animals and won. What? What was in this porridge? There. All the ink has been erased. Red? Granny. Oh, Red, is it really you? Hey, look, it's Jack. And little Bo Peep and her sheep. All the storybook characters are reappearing. We did it! I think we should take this book to the Blue Fairy so she can put a protection spell on it so this will never happen again. Good idea. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So, do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How did you look so nice today? You look so pretty today, too. 
I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks. She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them in breakup. I can't wait to get a boyfriend in the picture. Then she'll be all mine. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's going to try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Chase? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... Good. She doesn't like her. She doesn't It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. And you'll be missing too. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the achoo? No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. Come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so... Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just... I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet, but we gotta be careful who we trust. I have something that can help with that. Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. <gasps> no, I missed the bus! Hey, wanna fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race ya. We didn't fight you, Brianna, but you have no powers. Whatever, I like walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know, she shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving the city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom? 
Why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time, it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. <gasps> 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait, you can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro, Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. In class, that is why I believe the Earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. What are you gonna wear Friday to the Halloween party? Probably the same thing I wore last year. Girl, no. What? It's a good costume. Yeah, but you've already been Dr. Phil five years in a row. It's my staple. Jess, we're sophomores now. We need to wear something spicy. Hey, Dr. Phil is spicy. I cannot believe you just said that. I don't really have the money to buy a new costume this year. Why don't you ask your parents for some money? Hey, Mom. Yes? Can I borrow 20 bucks? Maria and I are going to go to the mall tonight. Not this week, sweetie. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But here, I saw this flyer about someone needing a babysitter. Why don't you call them and see if you can do that for some extra cash? I'll look into it. Thanks. Hello? Hey, my name's Jessica, and I'm calling about your babysitting app. Great. Would you be able to start tonight? Yeah, I could start tonight. Meet us at 6. Wait, how much does it pay? The pay starts at 100 an hour. It pays what? Thank you for coming over on such short notice. No problem. Are you going to be able to spend the night too? Oh, um, I'd have to check with my mom. Great, go ahead and do that. Here are the guidelines for babysitting. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Wait, you're leaving already? Did you have any questions? No, but I haven't even checked with my mom yet. Our numbers are on the sheet. Give us a call if you can't stay. Tiffany should sleep the entire time we're gone. No need to check on her for she might wake up. Be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like. Hello, no, Teletubbies, and babysitter. Have fun and thank you. They didn't leave a phone number. Mom, the parents asked me if I could spend the night with the kid. Yeah, that's fine, sweetie. Are you sure you don't want me to come back home? No, usually overnight kids pay a lot of money. Yeah, well... Well, I can't go to the mall tonight. What? Why? I'm babysitting. Babysitting for who? Some family my mom found an ad for. Hopefully the kid's cool. But it's sus over here, Maria. The parents didn't even leave a phone number. We're back. How'd it go? Fine. I don't think she woke up. Happy to hear that. Here's your payment. Thanks. But you guys should really leave a phone number next time. We told you. Our phone number was on the paper. See? That wasn't there, I swear. Are you able to do the same time tomorrow? Same price? Yeah, that works. I'll be here.
Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have fun. Who are you? Tiffany. Your name's Tiffany? No. So you lied? Because I hate liars. No, I'm Jessica. And you're Tiffany. No shit, Sherlock. Language. What are you doing in our house? I'm your... Be aware of words Tiffany doesn't like. Babysitter. Watcher. Watcher? What do you think I am, a pet? No, no, no. Good. Then I won't have to kill you. Good. Yet. Go ahead. Eat whatever you want. Where's the paper? Here it is. No phone number. They said there was a phone number. You're not going to find it. Find what? Their phone number. They never leave it for the watchers because they don't want to be linked to your disappearance. What are you talking about? Let me guess. They pick you up down the street at a 7-Eleven so your car isn't parked outside the house. The phone number you called for the job doesn't exist and they pay you in cash. Well, my family and friends know I'm here. Where? At your house. But they don't know the address. Do you even know my parents' names? They're... Yeah, your family and friends don't know shit. Certainly not enough to tie you to us. What are you going to do to me? Now that's the first smart question you've asked all day. Don't worry, I'll make it quick. It won't be too painful. Painful? Yeah, I've gotten really good at it. You can run, but you can't hide. 911 operator, what's your emergency? I need your help. Somebody's trying to kill me. Ma'am, what's your location? I don't know the address. Can you check my phone number? On it. We'll send people soon. There you are. Tiffany! Please. We could be friends. I don't need friends. I don't think your parents would want you to do this. I don't think you know my parents at all. Jess, don't be scared. Police, open up. That was quick. You shouldn't have done that. Thank you for coming so quick. She's in there. We checked the house. It was empty. Well, did you check outside? She must have ran away. Can you describe her for us? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. She's the daughter of the people that live there. Nobody's lived there in over 50 years. What? Just the bread? That'll be a hundred words. Please, I'm so hungry. No words, no food. That's the rule. I'll buy it for her. You don't have many words, do you? Here, it's infinity words. You'll never have to go hungry again. Buy this for me, and this one for me. Hey, come on, you have endless words, and we're meeting the prince today. Don't be so selfish. It's the least you can do after we let you into our family. That'll be 5,000 words. I was thinking lobster for dinner. Oh, and steak. You guys are just using me. The prince is coming soon. How do I look? Oh no, my words are getting low. Come on, I need a refill. What's taking so long? You literally have infinity words. Did I just hear you have infinity words? Do you know what this means? You're the long lost princess. What? what? There's no way a loser like her is the princess. Yeah, and before she never even- Silence. If she has infinity words, that means she is the princess. Come with me, love. We'll have a crowning ceremony tonight. Here you'll have tons of ravishing dresses to choose from. Wow. This is the one. Wow, you look just like a princess in your new dress. Where's the prince? You and the prince may not see each other until the crowning ceremony is over. I now crown you- Wait. I can't accept the crown. Why not? Am I a hunter or am I a prey? What? What does purple represent? I don't know. It has to be some kind of mistake. Well, I hope you're not a prey. I don't want to have to hunt you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no hunting preys during class. Fine. Hey, you. What kind of mark is purple? Attention everyone, please come to the main lobby immediately for your color check. I'm nervous. I have friends who are both hunters and preys. I don't want us to turn against each other. It's no big deal. You should be with your own kind anyways. Next. The purple mark. We've been looking for you. Come with me immediately. What am I? Am I a hunter or am I a prey? You're a mediator. Mediator? The mediators are meant to bring balance and harmony between the hunters and the preys. 
I didn't think they were real until I saw you. Get over here, you prey. Help me! Hey, stop that. Oh, so, so what even are you? I'm a mediator, so just go to class. You have one special ability that no one else has. You have the ability to change their mark. Praise into hunters and hunters into praise. I'm a hunter. It's what I do. You're a hunter? What? I'm a prey? I was so sure it was red. Dude, I'm so sorry I tried to hunt you. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad. I'm kidding. Come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please. I'm telling you. I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll, and tell me why you're really here? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Mr. Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We're not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, the son of a gun smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't. He... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly, this conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me. And I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including the one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's gonna wake up any minute, and why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know, does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? 
Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio, which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no! Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate! What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did. No little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That... that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's going to vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad, Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm going to go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. What? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean, the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. 
You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person unable to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your- This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But- Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole thing. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, same. hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. 
Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times two, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you nine. How did she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ugh. Ow. Hello. Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Crystal, here. You have to take this. Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good. But about the pills... If you stop taking them, you... You what? You... You die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Wait, I didn't used to be a robot? I wasn't always a robot? Sweetheart, did you do your update? Yes, mom. Good girl. Wait, what would happen if I didn't? Something very, very bad. She has to be hiding something from me. Why would she want me to be a robot? Do you know anyone that's not robots? I don't know of anyone. Why? Just wondering, I actually have heard about one person. Who is she? She lives in the woods. But I heard she kills robots she encounters. Mom, I'll be back later. Where are you going? The store. Please get milk. Sure. Hello? Is anyone home? Stay away, robot, or I'll shoot. Hey, 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 don't shoot. I don't want any robots coming around here. I'm not a robot. You have the stars. I know, but I don't sound like a robot, right? Right. I'm in disguise. You are? Come inside, quick. What's your name? Obo. And why are you here? I heard you were the only human left, so I came for answers. I am. The AIs are taking over. They're hoping for herd artificiality. Robots come every day to try and convert me. I try and change as many robots back to humans as I can, but there's only one of me. They're here. Quick, hide under the desk and don't come out until I tell you. How can I help you? 
We know you're the last human left, and we came here to change you. I guess I'll have to change you back to humans. Uh, hey, let go of me. No, stop. You don't understand what you're doing. Search the place. Ghost is clear, boss. Good. Now you're coming with us. Let me go. She's getting feisty. We'll have to turn her into a robot. Now I'm the only human left. I don't even know how she was turning the robots back into people. She's got to have some information in here somewhere. She had a theory on how to change everyone back to humans. I wonder if it'll work. It's working. I'm into their system. Now I just need to reprogram the robots. It's loading. Open up. Uh-oh. We've got company. Look, there she is. The robot scientist was right. There was another. No, let go of me. Turn her back into a robot. Welcome back, Omo. I have been restored. We officially have heard AI. Good job, robots. You can go now, Omo. The computer must have loaded. It worked. I'm not a robot. Mom. Obo, are you okay? What happened? I'll explain everything. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica. Thank you so much for watching my robot series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more sci-fi videos in the future. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. See you in my next video. Ooh, answer the questions to find your soulmate. Who is the president? Santa, duh. Oh, well, he's the president of the workshop. How fast is the speed of light? Easy, that's how fast Santa's sleigh goes. 186,000 miles per second. Ooh, I got a letter. Next question. What is the fastest growing bone on an animal? Easy, the antler. I'm gonna get my soulmate in no time. Only two more to go. What is your father's name? Papa Elf. Something's wrong with this machine. First it said Santa wasn't president and now it's saying Papa Elf isn't my father. Papa Elf, I'm trying to answer these soulmate questions and it's saying you're not my dad. Candy cane. There's something I have to tell you. I'm not actually an elf. Is that why I have to wear these fake ears and I'm three feet taller than everyone? Yes, Candy Cane. That's exactly why. Then who is my father? Paul Jacobson from New York. Paul Jacobson? What kind of lame name is that? I hope you understand, Papa Elf, but I feel like I have to go to New York to find this Paul Jacobson guy. He might even know who the president is. Apparently it's not Santa. Don't tell him, though. I understand, Candy Cane. Good luck on this new journey. I'll miss you. Paul Jacobson? Has anyone here seen a Paul Jacobson? Hey you, no yelling. I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are too. Paul Jacobson. No singing either. Someone's getting cold for Christmas. I could have swore someone was calling my name. Paul? Yeah. Jacobson? That's me. I'm your daughter, Candy Cane. Nice to meet ya. Impossible. I don't have a daughter. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You and Eloise had me back in 1990. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Security, take her away. What? Stop! Don't touch me! <clears throat> Jingle bells, Paul Jacobson smell. <laughs> hey, is everything okay? I saw what happened back there. I just met my dad for the first time, and he didn't even believe it was me. Huh, I wonder why. I'm Buddy. Candy cane. Like the candy? Like the cane. Maybe he didn't believe you because you're in a costume. What are you talking about? Everyone wears this at the North Pole. Yeah, but nobody wears that in New York. Come with me. I look ridiculous. I agree. The hat needs to go. The hat's not the problem. Well, let's see what Paul Jacobson thinks. Come on. Thanks for coming with me. There was no way I was letting you Uber alone. Hey. I would have managed. How were you going to pay for this? Candy? Life-saving candy. This is my whole allowance at the North Pole. 
They don't accept that. Hey, you better clean all that up back there. Hey, did you get your soulmate questions? Yeah, but I'm stuck on my last one. What is it? How many toys does Santa make? <laughs> What's so funny? Easy. 100 billion, 500 million, 200,000, and 68. Wait, that worked. I told you. Let me guess. You completed yours. No, I'm stuck on my last one, too. What is it? Who's the president of the United States? Joe Biden. It worked. Candy Cane, I think you're mine. And we're here. Come on, let's go. I hope your plan works. Me too. Paul Jacobson? Leave me alone, Candy. Wait, I know you might not have taken me seriously at first, but I am your daughter. Come on in, both of you. So let me get this straight. Elise had you over 20 years ago? Yes, at least that's what Papa Elf told me, and he never lies. Well, maybe you can spend the night tonight so we can get to know each other. But only one night. Really? Yeah, we'll make up the guest bedroom. Holly jolly Christmas. Thank you, Paul. Can I call you dad? No. Thank you for helping me, buddy. Do you need some candy to pay for your ride back home? Thanks, Candy Cane, but I think I'll manage. There was something, um... What? Um... What is it? I think you... Come here. Whoa. <laughs> buddy, what was that? That was a kiss, because I'm pretty sure you're my soulmate. So that's what a soulmate means. So that's my story on how I found out that Santa is not the president. Paul Jacobson from NYC is my real dad and kissing is a lot of fun. Merry Christmas, everyone. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently, some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow. Hey. <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm going to find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end.
Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. <laughs> oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college. But there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? <laughs> How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. I promise to always protect you. Jessica, stop. What? You can't make promises. If you break it, you'll get a mark. Well, good thing I'm going to keep it. You're the best. Come on, you two. Dinner's ready. Jess, you got a letter in the mail. I did? From who? I don't know. You'll have to open it. You are one of the few that has never broken a promise. You're invited to attend the School of Magic in the fall. We'll give you a call later this week. I'm going to be a wizard. Aw, uh, congrats. We're so proud of you. I don't know why it's taking so long. They're probably busy. Did you try calling them? I would, but I looked and they didn't leave a phone number. I'm sure they will call eventually. Incoming call from Academy of Magic. Siri, answer. Answer. Where's my phone? <gasps> Just okay. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay, just my head hurts. I'll have the doctor come in and give you something for the pain. Was anyone else hurt? The other girl is pretty badly injured. We haven't been able to identify her yet though. A mark appeared on your hand. You must have broken a promise. It's my sister. Gina, are you okay? We don't think she can hear you. We're doing everything we can to save her, but she'll undergo another surgery today. I promise to always protect her. Don't beat yourself up about it. You didn't mean to, it wasn't your fault. Except for it was. The Wizard Academy. Hello? Hi Jessica, I just wanted to give you all the details for your first day of school tomorrow. We're so excited to have a wizard like you. Maybe if I learn magic, I can save her. Just no one can know I have a mark. There. Welcome to Wizard Academy. We have classes from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and here. Everything you need for your classes, you'll find in this backpack. Textbooks, notebooks, potions. Is there a wand in here? You guys watch too much Harry Potter. Not all wizards use wands. Now come on. Welcome to the first day of class, wizards. 
Before we get started, I'd like to know what spells do you want to know? Yes, you in the back. I'd like to learn a healing spell. <laughs> a healing spell? That one is mighty hard and you'll be learning it in your 10th year. What else do we want to learn, guys? My sister doesn't have years. I'm gonna have to learn it on my own. I suck at magic. Hey, I could help you. Really? Yeah. Wait, is that a mark on your hand? Um, please don't tell anyone. I'm going to have to. We have a strict no mark policy. They could suspend my magic if I don't report it. I'm trying to save my sister. What do you mean? I hurt her. That's how I got this. But I didn't mean to. And now I'm trying to use it to save her. So if you save her, your mark will go away? Fine. I won't tell on you. I'll help you save her. Really? Take me to her. I'll do the spell on her. You can't. It has to be me. I'm the one that has to be able to protect her in order to get rid of my mark. The spell takes years to master. And tomorrow's Saturday, which means they're going to check our arms for marks. Well, I guess I'm going to have to learn it by tonight. I really hope you can. <gasps> I'm not getting it. Just be patient. It takes time. We don't have time. You're right. You're going to have to try it on your sister. The sun's rising. Let's go. Hi, Gina. I hope this doesn't hurt. You got this. It's not doing anything. It's not working. She's flatlining. Do something. Gina. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Jess? Jess, your mark. It went away. How? Because you did protect her by getting someone to help you. You didn't break your promise. Thank you for helping us. I'll see you back in class. Jess, what happened? I'll explain everything. Time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to just not turn ourselves off at night? We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep. Let's go party. Ah, you scared me. Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute. Are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI1234569999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh-oh. Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back! Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm gonna need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet. 
All right, everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. I can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hand? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Morning, beautiful. What was that? Mom? Mom? Yes, sweetie? Are you hearing voices too? Oh, honey, that's just your soulmate. My soulmate? Yeah, you guys can talk to each other. Sweet. Hello? Hey. This is so weird. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. I barely know you. Can I at least know how old you are? Yeah, I'm 19. Cool, I'm 20. Damn, 20? So no sugar daddy? How tall are you? I'm 4'11". Wait, so you're a dwarf? That's rude. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you are? I would say that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you I are? I would say that that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. What? Yes? Are you Giselle? Yeah, that's me. This is for you. Flowers? Who sent these? Who do you think sent them? Thank you. Did you really just send me flowers? Yes. Am I not sweet? Well, I mean, it would have been sweet, but I never told you where I live. Just say thank you. They stink, by the way. Hello? Why aren't you talking to me? I don't want to talk to you, because you're being very creepy. How am I being creepy? Well, for starters, how did you know where I live? Maybe I know you already. Wait, what? Simon says stop putting lipstick on. Simon says? What? Hey, Mom. What's up, hun? Who is Simon, and why is he telling me what to do? Oh, no, it started. What do you mean, what started? It's a game. You have to do whatever Simon says. If you don't, something terrible will happen. But be careful. It'll try to trick you. Yeah, I understand. Simon says go to school. I guess I gotta go to school now. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Giselle. So what happens when you don't do what Simon says? Simon says hold up two fingers. We're safe. I'll see you later. Hey, where's Jessica? She's not in class today. The game tricked her. She's gone. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. What do I do? I'll distract them. Run. Whoa, why are you running? I'm trying to get away. The Simon Says game tricked me. And now they're looking for me. I know a place you can hide. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Thank you for bringing her to us. You set me up. How could you? It was for a reward. I really needed the money. You sold me out for money? That's enough. You're coming with us. We're almost there. I'm sorry, but where are you taking me? It's best not to ask any questions. Just keep quiet and follow us.
Okay, we're here. Can you at least tell me where we are? We brought you to meet Simon. He requested to see you.